Ah, tina koto kato, kokuin tokuikua, kaitu fari taukaho imahiana. Kia ora everyone, my name is Quinn, I work at the Otago Museum, but right now I'm working from home. A unique problem of working from home is actually deciding which top you want to wear for your work video meetings. I'm trying to decide that right now. Hmm. I guess in the meantime, we can actually do a fun little experiment with these metal coat hangers I've got my lovely threads hanging on. Let's get to it. For this experiment, you're going to need a metal coat hanger, a teaspoon, and some string. What you're going to do is cut the string into two even pieces, making sure they're not too long or too short. Then tie each piece of string to the coat hanger and the other ends to your fingers, making sure they're not too tight. Once that's done, it should look like this. You want the string to be quite taut, but long enough that you should be able to fit your head comfortably under it, which you'll see in a second. Okay, so now I've got my set up. I've got my coat hanger hung up, my fingers tied to the string, which is tied to the hanger. What you want to do next is put your fingers in your ears. You're going to want to make sure that the string is nice and tight when you do so, and then get someone from inside your bubble to hit the coat hanger with a spoon. For this experiment, I'm going to get the cameraman to do it for me, and we're going to see what happens. Whoa! That's pretty neat. That's pretty good. So you might be wondering what happened at the end there. Well, when the spoon hit the coat hanger, I actually heard a really loud, really long sound like church bells ringing. The science behind this is sound and sound waves can travel through all types of matter. And the way they travel through that matter and how they do it will determine how loud the sound is and how long we'll hear that sound for. In the case of the metal coat hanger, molecules in metal are really tightly packed. Uh, what this means is that sound can travel across it really, really quickly, so it's really easy and clear for us to hear, really resonant. So, when the spoon hit the metal, it went through that tight string and into my ears. Uh, a similar thing you might find out in the world is a doctor's stethoscope, how they've got it pushed to your chest, and they can hear it through the earplugs that they have on the stethoscope. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning a bit about sound today. Me, I'm going to pop off to that work meeting in my nice spiffy shirt, but I might catch you around later for some extra content. Take care.